collecting rust from a field. In order to determine what races of stem rust are present in the field, you need to make collections of the stem rust and then bring it back into the greenhouse. And so we're here in the field and we have wheat that's infected with stem rust. We're going to make some collections and then bring it back into the greenhouse to see what races are present. I'm going to demonstrate two different methods for collecting stem rust from the field. The first method I'm going to talk about is collecting stems into this glycine bag. And so simply you can find wheat that's infected with stem rust, break off a few stems, and insert the pieces of the stems into the glycine bag. When you are collecting stem rust from stems into glycine bags, it's important to keep the stems dry. If the stems get too wet, then the spores will start to germinate and you will lose viability of the spores. One thing that you can do in order to keep the stems dry is to remove the leaf sheath from the stem. The leaf sheath is the outer part of the stem which has the stem rust pustules on it. So what you can do is simply unravel the leaf sheath from the rest of the stem and separate the two from each other. So the leaf sheath has all the stem rust pustules and the stem does not. You can keep the leaf sheath with the stem rust pustules and insert it into the glycine bag. And this is a more effective way of collecting stem rust from stems and keeping those spores dry. The second method for collecting stem rust from the field is to collect rust into gelatin capsules. It's important to know that when you're working with gelatin capsules, these can start to degenerate if they get too wet or if it's too humid outside. So collecting rust with gelatin capsules is only really practical if you're really close to your greenhouse or lab. In collecting stem rust into capsules, you can say, simply take a capsule, open the gelatin capsule up, and scrape the stems that are infected with rust with the gelatin capsule. The stem rust spores will fall off of the stem and land inside of the gelatin capsule. You can then close the capsule and take it back to your greenhouse or lab. 